What if tomorrow morning you woke up and saw one headline everywhere? The era of lithium is over. The same lithium that powers every electric vehicle on the road, the same lithium that makes electric cars possible, while also making them expensive, fragile, and risky. Now here's the twist. Tesla has been working in silence on a battery so cheap, so safe, and so powerful that it could shatter the entire industry overnight. Because lithium isn't just the heartbeat of today's EVs, it's also their greatest weakness. It slows charging, it limits range, it sparks safety fears, and it puts the future of energy in the hands of just a few countries. So ask yourself, what happens when that foundation collapses? And what if the one to pull the trigger isn't a government or a rival automaker, but Elon Musk himself? Here's why this isn't just another battery headline. This is about your future. Every EV on the road today depends on lithium. That means the price you pay, the safety of your car, the time you spend waiting at a charger, even the air you breathe are all chained to this one metal. And lithium comes with baggage. Mining destroys water supplies in South America. Processing is dominated by China, giving them leverage over the entire EV market. And as demand skyrockets, prices keep climbing. That's why your dream of a cheap, reliable EV still feels out of reach. And here's the contrast. While governments are busy building charging networks and car makers are pouring billions into lithium factories, Tesla is playing a different game entirely. A game where lithium isn't the future. <laughs> it's the dead end. So in this video, we're going to uncover 10 reasons why Tesla's next battery could end the reign of lithium forever, and why the impact will go far beyond cars. Because when this revolution hits, it won't just shake the auto industry. It will flip the balance of global power. Before we even talk about cost or performance, let's face the first ugly truth. Lithium is destroying the environment. Think about where it comes from. To get a single ton of lithium, mining companies pump millions of liters of water out of the ground. In the salt flats of Chile, Argentina, and Bolivia, the so-called lithium triangle. This has turned once fertile land into cracked deserts. Communities are left without clean drinking water. Farmers can't grow crops. Rivers run dry. And here's the paradox. Electric vehicles are sold to you as green technology. They're supposed to save the planet, but the very batteries inside them are ripping the planet apart at the source. It's like trying to put out a fire with gasoline. And even worse, this isn't just an environmental issue. It's a moral one. Local communities often protest, but Giant corporations and foreign governments still dig deeper because the world is addicted to lithium. So while you may feel good driving electric, the reality is the heart of your EV comes with a hidden cost that isn't sustainable. And if the foundation of the EV revolution is already this cracked, the question becomes, what happens when the politics of lithium get just as toxic as its mining? If the environmental crisis wasn't bad enough, here's the bigger problem. Lithium is the new oil. In the 20th century, countries fought wars, toppled governments, and built entire empires around oil. Whoever controlled oil controlled the world. Today, that same power game is shifting to lithium. Look at the map. Most of the world's lithium comes from just a handful of countries, Chile, Argentina, Bolivia, and Australia. But the real power isn't where it's mined. It's where it's processed. And right now, China controls over 60% of global lithium refining. That means if you want an EV battery, no matter where you are, you're ultimately dependent on Beijing. This is why governments in the US and Europe are panicking. Billions are being poured into new mining deals, subsidies, and critical minerals strategies. But the truth is simple. As long as the world relies on lithium, whoever holds the supply chain holds the keys to the future of transportation. So yes, lithium gave birth to the EV boom, but it also created a new geopolitical chokehold, one that looks disturbingly familiar. We swapped gas pumps for charging stations, but the same power games are still in play. And here's the catch. Even if you solve the politics, lithium itself has built-in limits that no government or car company can erase. Even if you ignore the pollution, even if you ignore the politics, Lithium has a built-in ceiling, and the EV industry is already crashing into it. Here's the cold reality. Lithium batteries can only do so much. You can tweak the chemistry, pack the cells tighter, or add faster chargers, but physics won't bend forever. Charging still takes 30 to 40 minutes on the fastest stations. Range still stalls at 300 to 400 kilometers for most affordable EVs. And no matter how much engineers push, the gains are shrinking with every new model. This is the performance wall. It's the invisible barrier that stops electric vehicles from reaching the convenience of gas cars. Because think about it, when was the last time you waited 40 minutes at a gas station? Petrol fills in minutes. Lithium never will. And safety makes the problem worse. Push lithium too hard and it overheats. It swells, it catches fire. That's why you see headlines about EVs burning in parking garages or exploding after a crash. Manufacturers know they're walking on a knife's edge. Squeeze out more performance and you risk lives. So here's the truth. No matter how glossy the marketing, lithium can't deliver the breakthrough the EV industry desperately needs. It's maxed out. 
And that's why Tesla isn't just improving lithium. It's quietly hunting the holy grail of batteries that could break through this wall. If lithium has hit a wall, what's on the other side? For years, scientists have pointed to one answer, solid state batteries. They're called the holy grail of energy storage, and here's why. Instead of using a flammable liquid electrolyte like lithium ion, solid state batteries use a solid electrolyte. That one change makes them safer, denser, and dramatically faster to charge. Imagine this, an EV that runs 1,000 kilometers on a single charge and recharges not in hours, not in 40 minutes, but in just a few minutes. Suddenly, the EV feels as convenient as filling up at the pump. No more range anxiety, no more charging dread. It sounds like science fiction, but companies are pouring billions into making it real. Toyota claims they're close. Samsung and QuantumScape are chasing it. And Tesla? Tesla has the gigafactory advantage. While other companies make promises, Tesla has the scale, the expertise, and the obsession to turn solid state from a lab prototype into mass production. But here's the twist. Musk isn't betting the future on just one breakthrough. Because what if solid state takes longer? What if costs stay high? That's why Tesla's secret playbook goes deeper toward battery chemistries that are even cheaper, even easier to scale. And that's where the story takes a turn, to a material you can literally find in your kitchen. What if the future of EV batteries isn't hiding in some high-tech lab, but in something as common as table salt? That's the promise of sodium ion batteries. Instead of lithium, they use sodium, the same element found in seawater and salt shakers. And here's why this is a game changer. Sodium is everywhere, it's cheap, abundant, and doesn't require tearing apart South America or bowing to China's supply chain. Now think about what that means for you. If sodium replaces lithium, the most expensive part of an EV, the battery, suddenly becomes far cheaper. That drops the price of the car itself, making EVs affordable not just for the wealthy, but for everyone. The dream of a $20,000 electric car? Sodium makes it possible, and, and sodium brings more perks. Unlike lithium, it performs well even in freezing cold, one of EVs' biggest weaknesses. It's safer, less prone to overheating, and easier to recycle. In other words, it solves almost every pain point that keeps people from going electric today. Tesla knows this. In fact, Musk has hinted more than once that future batteries won't rely on rare, expensive materials at all. And with Tesla's scale, sodium could move from science experiment to factory production faster than anyone expects. But lowering cost isn't the whole story, because Tesla is also chasing something else a battery so powerful it makes charging nearly instant. If sodium makes EVs cheaper, graphene promises to make them unstoppable. Graphene isn't just another material, it's been called a superhero for a reason. Picture carbon, but arranged in a honeycomb sheet only one atom thick. It's insanely strong, insanely light, and electricity flows through it faster than almost anything else we've ever discovered. Now imagine that inside a battery. A graphene battery could charge not in 40 minutes, not even in 10 minutes, but in as little as five minutes. That's basically the same time it takes to fill a tank of gas. Suddenly, EVs don't just compete with petrol cars, they outclass them in convenience. And it doesn't stop there. Graphene's structure handles heat beautifully. That means no swelling, no runaway fires, no scary explosion headlines. It lasts longer too, giving EVs a battery life measured in decades, not just years. Tesla has the money and the labs to push this from theory to reality. Imagine a Tesla that charges while you grab a coffee, runs for hundreds of miles, and never leaves you worrying about battery degradation. That's the future graphene hints at. But here's where it gets even wilder. These new batteries, solid state, sodium, graphene, they're not just about cars. They could reshape how entire cities store and use energy. Up until now, we've been talking about cars. But here's the real twist. Tesla's battery revolution was never just about cars. Think about Tesla's other products. The Powerwall for homes, the Megapack for cities, and even battery systems for factories and solar farms. Right now, all of them depend on lithium too. But swap in sodium, graphene, or solid state, and suddenly the game flips. Picture this, your house powered all day and night by cheap, safe batteries charged from rooftop solar. No grid blackouts, no massive electricity bills. Now zoom out further. Uh, entire neighborhoods, even whole cities, running on Tesla's energy storage instead of fragile old power plants. This isn't just convenient, it's a new energy economy. Batteries that are cheaper, safer, and last longer mean renewable energy finally has a reliable backbone. No more what if the sun doesn't shine or what if the wind doesn't blow. Energy gets stored when it's abundant and released when it's needed. And that's why Elon Musk has always called Tesla an energy company not just a car company. Because once these new batteries scale, the impact goes way beyond highways. It rewires the entire power grid of the world. But if cities and nations start running on this tech, 
governments will have no choice but to rewrite their policies overnight. And that shockwave is coming sooner than anyone expects. Here's where things get explosive, because the moment a true lithium alternative arrives, governments will flip the switch on policy overnight. Right now, trillions of dollars in subsidies, tax credits, and infrastructure projects are tied to lithium-based EVs. From Washington to Brussels to Beijing, the entire green transition has been built on one assumption. Lithium is the only path forward. But what happens when Tesla proves that's no longer true? Simple. Subsidies will shift, regulations will be rewritten, entire national strategies will be torn up and replaced. Why would a government keep throwing billions at slow, expensive lithium batteries when a new technology offers faster charging, lower costs, and cleaner mining? And here's the domino effect. Once governments pivot, the entire auto industry has to follow. Companies like Toyota, Honda, BYD, and NIO have invested billions into lithium supply chains. But if subsidies disappear and policy favors sodium, graphene, or solid state, their advantage evaporates overnight. So the EV industry isn't just fighting a technical race, it's fighting a policy race. And Tesla, by staying silent until it's ready, could force the world's regulators to play catch up on its terms. But this isn't just about regulations, because when the rules change, Tesla's rivals won't just stumble. Many could be ambushed out of the game entirely. Now imagine you're Toyota, BYD, Honda, or NIO. You've spent years building factories, billions locking down lithium mines, and entire strategies betting your future on this one metal. Then, out of nowhere, Tesla drops a bombshell, a battery that doesn't need lithium at all. Overnight, all that investment becomes a trap. Supply chains worth billions? Obsolete. Years of R&D wasted. Even the global charging networks that governments and automakers are rushing to build start looking outdated because Tesla isn't just offering a slightly better battery. It's offering an entirely new playing field. This is how Tesla plays the game. While rivals try to optimize lithium, Tesla quietly works on the replacement. And when the reveal comes, it's not just an upgrade, it's an ambush. Rivals are left years behind, scrambling to catch up while Tesla races ahead, and the pain will be sharpest for the companies currently on top. BYD, for example, dominates China with lithium iron phosphate batteries. Toyota has doubled down on hybrids, hedging its EV bets. Honda and NIO are still crawling toward mass EV adoption. If Tesla pulls the rug, all of them are instantly on the back foot. But here's the kicker. The ambush won't just hit car companies, because when Tesla's battery drops, entire nations will feel the shock. This is where the story leaps beyond cars, because when lithium loses its crown, the global balance of power flips with it. Right now, countries rich in lithium are cashing in. Chile, Argentina, Bolivia, the lithium triangle, are sitting on treasure. China dominates the processing, giving it leverage over the EV industry worldwide. These nations know they're holding the world hostage the same way oil nations once did with crude. But if Tesla and others bring sodium, graphene, or solid state to market, that entire power structure collapses. The white gold instantly becomes just another mineral. Countries that built their future on lithium exports will see their bargaining chip vanish. And China, with its 60% plus control of refining, will lose its biggest trump card. Meanwhile, oil states like Saudi Arabia are already watching EVs eat into their dominance. If a cheaper, faster, safer battery makes electric cars mainstream, that decline accelerates. Petro economies shrink. The new wealth will flow not to those who control the ground, but to those who control the technology. And at the center of it all, Tesla, not just a car company, but the gatekeeper of an energy revolution. Whoever masters the post-lithium battery won't just lead the EV race, they'll hold the keys to the global economy itself. But here's the question that keeps every competitor guessing. If Tesla is so far ahead, why hasn't Elon Musk revealed it yet? Here's the part that makes Tesla terrifying to its rivals. Elon Musk never shows his hand until the cards are ready to hit the table. Think back. When the Model 3 was announced, critics laughed. Too cheap, too ambitious, impossible to mass produce. Then it became the best-selling EV in history. When the Cybertruck prototype rolled out, the world mocked its design. Today, hundreds of thousands of orders prove otherwise. SpaceX question mark. People said rockets couldn't land themselves. Now it's routine. Musk's playbook is always the same. Build in silence, drop hints that sound crazy, and then unveil something that blindsides the industry. By the time competitors realize what's happened, Tesla already has years of development and manufacturing scale in place. That's why Tesla's battery research is so secretive. If Musk revealed too much too early, Toyota, BYD, or even governments themselves would pour billions into catching up. Instead, Tesla waits. It refines. It scales. And then, when the world is fully invested in lithium, Tesla flips the board with a battery that makes all that investment worthless. This isn't just strategy, it's a silent revolution. 
One that doesn't just prepare Tesla to dominate EVs, but to rewrite the entire energy industry. From the cars in your driveway to the grid that powers your city. And when that reveal comes, it won't just be a new product launch. It will be a global shockwave. So here's where it all comes together. Lithium built the EV dream, but it was never the destination. It was only a bridge, and bridges aren't meant to last forever. Tesla's silent research signals the next chapter. Batteries that are cheaper, safer, cleaner, and faster than anything lithium could ever deliver. Solid state promises, thousand kilometer range, and minutes long charging. Sodium could slash EV prices to where anyone can afford one. Graphene could make charging faster than filling a gas tank. Together, they don't just solve problems, they redefine what's possible. And this revolution isn't limited to cars. Homes, cities, even nations could run on post-lithium batteries. Energy will no longer be dictated by oil fields or lithium mines, but by the companies and countries that control the technology. And right now, Tesla stands at the center of that future. And that when the curtain finally lifts, it won't just change how you drive. It will change how the entire world powers itself. The end of lithium won't just be an industry shift. It will mark the birth of a new energy era. Because in the end, this isn't just a story about batteries. It's about power, literal and political. And when Tesla drops its silent revolution, it won't just win the EV race. It could own the future of energy itself.